Hello, I'm Shanna Caval, and welcome back to some more Door Kickers, so we're on the next level. Um, the previous mission, two of our guys did die, so there will be another mission before um, their characters respawn someone else, but I've got a brand new guy and also Funlight here. Let's jump in. So I have, this. this is actually my second time recording this video because it took me forever to do this mission, so I decided to start again. And hopefully this will go a bit smoother than last time. Because it did, did, end up, did end up being a bit of a long video. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to see all of my failures. So there's these three guys. I'm actually going to move this guy around here. Because I think someone will probably try and flank me from behind. Brutal, well, that guy's dead there. Let's move this guy up a bit more, I think. And hopefully there's no one behind me. Just quickly turn around. Nope, there's no one there. That's good. Move this dude in. Oops. Okay, get this door here. Okay, get this door in. Right, let's move this guy. Here, but when he gets here, we'll make him um, strafe. Right, there's no one in there, it's good. There's no one in there either. Kicking that door, kicking that door, kicking that door. That's fine. Move this guy back down to here, and we'll move him to this side to look up here for now. And we'll keep this door in. Right, so let's move this guy to here. And this guy here. So they're definitely next to each other, so they're not blocking each other's line of sight, which is good. We'll kick this door in and brutal. Take that bloke out. So we'll move this guy to strafe that way. And I guess we'll move this guy in as well. Probably both strafe them both. And there's the last guy. Excellent. So that took me a considerably short amount of time. We did miss the um the time to beat by a couple of seconds, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm actually gonna jump straight onto the next mission. And this is briefing, hostage rescue training. So, one hostage is four tangos, so this is a bit more training. So let's see if we can get a challenge here. So I'm gonna move these two guys to this room here. And then there's actually a new go, a new go code as well. Wait for clear. So don't move until there are no more troop until there are no more tangos in sight. However, this does um, give a point, I think it's a point five second delay, so it will slow you down a bit, but it is quite handy. So then they'll both move this way. And then on A, on A, there we go. So try to do this in one plant so on A, then they'll move to here and to here. That should do perfectly fine. We'll see how this goes though. Oh, never mind. Complete the mission. Didn't quite go as I thought it would do, but it took us five seconds to improve result. Um, challenge, we only we used a single plan and we did it all without pausing. So, let's jump onto the Ashcroft Residence, which is the hostage rescue mission. So there's three troopers, two entrance points. Okay, so we've got, two, I think, two point men going through the door, have we? <clears throat> we fun light and this guy, I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not going to bother. Ah, he's only using a 1911, so let's um, customise him. This guy here, actually going to give him a HK pistol. This guy's using the commander, that's fine. Yeah, when he dies, he, his gear must get reset. So, I'm not all wearing, still all wearing front plate only, which seems to me to be working. <clears throat> so, actually, I'm going to put one guy through here and two guys through here. Actually, no. One through here, yeah. One through each entrance, I think, is the best plan. Straight that way. And then we'll get this guy to go through here. And this guy's just going to stand in front of the door, kick it in, oh shit, so guy just there, engage him and hopefully engage him as well. Right, so I've moved this guy past the window, there's no one in there, so I can safely enter the room, move this guy up, and move this guy facing here. Right, let's move this guy to here and we'll move this guy up and we'll raid this room together, I think. In position. No contact. 
that guy disappear to? Well, let's keep the door and find out, shall we? So this, there is still a bad guy left somewhere. And there we go. And we got him. Excellent. <clears throat> and 15 seconds. Obviously, didn't get any of the um, any of the challenges. But there we go. So let's quick look at our stats. So this guy actually defied zero shots, <coughs> and obviously got zero kills. So he got zero percent accuracy, which I think should technically be 100 percent because he, nah, he, either or, isn't it? Again, I think I think I pre in the previous video that if they had an overall stats, this 0 percent would drop it down by a lot. But obviously, he hasn't fired, so he shouldn't really be counted at all, or it should give 100 percent. Who knows? Anyway, one guy injured, healthy, blah blah blah. Let's um, go back to the main menu, I think, and we'll look at so we're level six. We've got two doctrine points to spend. So what we shall do is spend them on more pistol stuff, I think. Let's have a look. What have I got here? Ah, double tap. Definitely buy on double tap. And Maze and Beak. So double taps are followed by a headshot. That sounds quite good. Or long range we've already got. Let's go over Maze and Beak, I think. So we'll, what, I thought, what I think we'll do is we'll finish off the handguns and move on to long guns because personally I do prefer point men. Although actually I am... In the in the alpha, I didn't really see the point of using assault troopers that much at all. <clears throat> but I have seen a couple of points, and I wish I did have an assault trooper. And I have seen their kind of use now, so that's good to know whether that's um, due to changes in the beta, or whether that's just me and the way I play. Uh, who knows? But anyway, I'm actually going to take a break. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Video.